once Joe brought me to like my first rave, like, like that's all I want to do. Like, <laughs> my name is Joe. And this is the story of how my love for house music and raving came about, which led to a night that my friends and I will never forget. Every time I like play it back in my head or like go through it or talk about it, I can feel like the anxiety. Like it's just like, that's always gonna be there now. The warehouse parties and EDM venues in Brooklyn are the place to be. I love it there. I got into this scene after watching an episode of 90210 in 2019, where they go to a liquor store and trade an egg for the location of a secret warehouse rave. So I hit up my best friend Ange, and she was a little hesitant at first, but after some convincing and some research, I found something and we went to our first rave together in 2019 and countless more after that. So every weekend we'd go to Elsewhere or the Brooklyn Mirage from 2019 until COVID hit. And the Brooklyn Mirage is where James, Ange, and I went one night for this house music festival called Elro. It was fun, it was popping, it was insane. But it was also a night that changed our lives forever. This is where shit hit the fan. Joe turns to me and Ange and he's like, guys, I really just like don't feel good right now. Like, I think I want to go home. Like, I'm really not feeling okay right now. And me and Andrew were just like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, what's wrong? And he, was, and he was just like, I really just don't feel good at all right now. Like, I need to go home. So we were trying to figure out like what to do. And then Joe was ordering an Uber already. So we get back in another Uber and we start heading home. And Joe was kind of talking really crazy. He was saying some funny things. He almost was acting like he was drunk. He was just sort of like talking a lot and like not really making much sense. And he was saying that his vision was really blurry. He was like, I can't even see what my phone looks like right now. As soon as we turned onto his block, that's when it hit me like all at once. And I was just like, whoa, I got really scared for a minute. That night ruined my love for raving. It made me realize that no matter what gender you are, nobody is safe from being roofied. And Molly is so not fun, especially when you don't know you're taking it. The next month, we decided to go back to the Brooklyn Mirage and we didn't have a drink. And it was honestly the most fun I've ever had at a rave. It was insane. We were just sober. We were high on the energy of the crowd. So the moral of the story is cover your drink, be aware of your surroundings, and have fun sober. 